Hi guys and welcome to Make Something Mondays. As promised, we're going to be making a double mum. Homecoming typically takes place in October, but I've noticed that a lot of schools are going to be doing homecoming in September. So why not get started now? We have everything that you'll need to make a mum. I'm actually making a double mum, which is why I have the two-part cardboard thing I'm a jig <laughs> and I have two of those you'll see why in just a moment so let's go ahead and get started okay whenever you open up your mums the first thing you'll notice is the back of the mum flower has this just pop it off no big deal you're going to actually hot glue this flower down onto the board like this so basically this is what it's gonna do as an example is you'll hot, you'll hot glue this here and bam you've got the front so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get these hot glued onto the board and set those to the side so we can get to the next step okay so we've got step one of our double mum completed and all I did here was hot glue the mums to the board pretty simple right okay that's step one we'll let it sit here dry quietly over here, which will be step two, we are actually going to get some of these ribbons. And I had my ribbons cut somewhat short. I thought it was short. But I this is going to be a small mum compared to some of the other mums that I do. But I'm going to take and hot glue these little paw prints and all the other kind of little ribbons that I purchased and you can get all kinds of ribbons all sizes and fix these up however you want to do it but my next step is really simple I'm just gonna hot glue ribbons in a way in which it makes it look kind of full and if you want if you have like ribbon that's really really long then just take and cut it in half and make a shorter mum but it'll also be a fuller mum so it's just whatever is going to work best for you and your family and the way that your little one wants their mom to look. So I'm going to go ahead and get these laid out the way I want them. And I'm going to hot glue them to this board. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have the ribbons glued on as you can see here. Now it's time to put on the fun stuff. The ribbons are there. That's, that's nice, but... We need some paw prints, so we're going to add some of these. I'm going to cut it in half. I had to actually cut the ribbon in half because it just would look better that way. Um, and as you see, I have extra stuff left over. And I can show you some really fun things to do with that later. But right now, we're going to just, same concept, hot glue. I'm going to cut it in half. Then hot glue the pieces here so that we have some little noise makers. And I also have like a roll of ribbon. This ribbon I'm going to cut and curl. I'm sorry. It's crazy flying my way. I'm going to cut it, curl it, and put it on here. And I'll just hot glue all my little decorations onto the mum. So in the end, it's going to be kind of full. Hopefully pretty cheery. So I'll be right back in a moment after I have that part done. Okay, I am to the point now to where I think that I'm kind of tired of putting things on the mum. Oh, it's supposed to be a garter. But of course, it's going to end up being a little mum. But this is the next step. See, all your ugliness that you have here, like I showed you, I told you, I would do colorful glue sticks so that you guys could see the ugliness of it all. Okay, so this is what we're going to do to cover up the ugliness. We're going to hot glue this to this, right into the holes, which is why it's very important to keep those holes open. So we're just going to hot glue those together just like that, and then I'll show you how to decorate the top of it. But first, I want to tell you, a lot of people prefer not to hot glue. They prefer to staple, or they hot glue and staple to reinforce that's fine whichever way is comfortable for you I've always done hot glue and it, it lasts I did a mum for my daughters about 
three years ago, two or three years ago, and they're still using them. So, it, hot glue will last. <laughs> and I'll show you those at the end of the video also so that you can see my daughter's mums. Okay, so right now I'm going to hot glue this little bear. And I'm doing it dead center into the mum. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I actually have more stuff that I want to add to it. Yes, crazy. I am. I am. But, oh, here we go. So we've got the bear here. And there are always other options for the bear. And I'll show you those also. A bigger bear is always better, which I'll show you on my daughter's mums. But, uh, like I said in my post last week, this mom I'm going to donate to my son's football team which is the Team Texas Bulldogs and they're going to raffle it off hopefully and it will hopefully go to a good home <laughs> and bring in a lot of money for the team which I think this is a really great way and it's a whole lot better than just saying hey will you give me money so this way somebody else gets something out of it so here's the bear and the bear being crooked is actually quite intentional and you'll see why in just a moment. This whole area is going to be just kind of like a little fun area. So I'm going to get ready for the next step to make this fun. Okay, so we have it all complete. Uh, now, if you look up here, you'll see that the bear has on his little helmet he has his little glittery football and it's just like the helmet and the little footballs that I put here on the bottom of the moon. The rest of this is pretty naked. Uh, there's nothing here, nothing here and I'm going to show you why. See these letters? I typically for homecoming moms people like to have their name or their team names on the moms. So I'll take just simple pipe cleaners and I twist them to spell things out. So for instance with this team since they're the Team Texas Bulldogs I twisted out Bulldogs. Now this isn't the color that I would use for this mum. I would use more of a hunter green and I actually have some of that I'll show it to you. But this was just an example of something that you could do. You can also do your kids names that's always an option um, but just decorate it whatever way you want add whatever you want to add to it um, for this particular mom since it's going to be auctioned off the parent will have the option of putting their child's number here or name here or however they want to have it so I'll definitely do that if that's what they want to do or they can just take it like that now as far as connecting the mum to you, this is the back of the board. I haven't put anything on it as of yet. What I normally do myself is I will hot glue. I'll do a, a long line of hot glue here and here. I will take the super big safety pins. They're about that long and I stand them here. And then I hot glue on top of that to help hold them there. And I do two of those. And that's so that you can pin the homecoming mum on yourself. You can also, if you don't want this to be a homecoming mum, it can be a garter. And this is a garter. And see how big they are? They're really, really big and they stretch really big. In our area, the guys typically wear the garters on their arms. So, what you would do in this situation is just hot glue the garter here. Which, I don't know if this is going to be for a girl or a guy because it's going to be auctioned off. That's why I haven't put anything on the back of it yet. Because if a parent of a guy wins it, or if a parent wins it, a lot of times they want to wear that on their sleeve. On their arm, I'm sorry. So I would just hot glue this here. And if it's too big, cut it, hot glue it together, and then hot glue it here. 
the leftover piece of garter you'll probably have little pieces about that big take those get the rest the remaining portion of your homecoming stuff just this little stuff that you put on here these little pieces like if you had to trim off a paw or something like that and some of the little glittery wire that you buy at craft stores take that get your little piece of garter it'll now become a ring hot glue that stuff on here with the bell and you have like a little noise making bell they call them finger ringers because they have bells on them but you wear those at homecoming so and all it is is leftover scraps so that's a good thing for you to do with your leftover scraps okay these are my daughter's mums they're as you can see over time they get so then you just want to hang them on your child's wall and let them have them there as memories but we yank these off so you guys can see this was a plain white bear and I didn't decorate that bear too much because I don't know, like I said, if a lady or a male will win it. So, since I knew these were for my girls, I made their bears into cheerleaders. They were cheerleaders, so of course the bear should be a cheerleader also. Like I said, this was a plain white bear. I took some of the extra ribbon, see, as you can tell, <laughs> took some of the extra ribbon, just kind of made a frilly edge to turn it into a skirt for the bear. Gave her a nice little black topper on it. Made a vest for the bear. And all that is is just some funny shaped pieces. Cause see, the vest doesn't go all the way around. And on there, I took a paint marker and wrote the number of the guy that was going to walk her out. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but he was number three. So since number three walked her out, her bear wore number three on her vest. And I just hot glued a megaphone, a football, hot glued a hat. This hat was a solid black hat. I stuck little bulldog stickers on it. That little glittery wire I was telling you about, this is some of it. And I just hot glued that around. Here for the top of the mum. And like I said, tuh, it's been hanging on the wall so it's going to be dusty. But I did the pipe cleaners and spelled out her name. Her name is Aja. So she's got Aja at the top of hers. Um, for these little pieces, these little super fancy edges that you see on Homecoming Moons. And you can also see it really, really well on my other daughter's mom. And you see her little bear. She's got a helmet. And she's got the super fancy wiring. But her name is Saja, so you can kind of see her lettering a little bit better since it's green. But you just twist it to spell the word out the way you want it. The fancy edges, after a while, they just get kind of bratty and you just want to rip them off. But what I do with the, to make those is just take some ribbon. I'll show you with one of these. Just take the ribbon and fold it like this and then cut it and then you're gonna hot glue it in the middle of those two pieces just like right here I'm gonna pull hers I started pulling hers apart so you can see it but you're just gonna hot glue it in there and this is why I said every year you can refresh them because I can pull this off I can take out whatever bent up ribbon they have like this ribbon is bent I would take this ribbon out, put in some fresh ribbon, I tie pieces of candy onto strings like these with the bells on them, tie pieces of candy to them so they can give candy to their friends, and then hot glue it back and you have a fresh mum and nobody ever knows the difference. So if you let these hang on your daughter's walls, don't worry if they get dusty, it's really easy to replace them. But like, just get like a plain black hat, wrap some wire around it, stick some stickers on it. You can decorate these bears however you want them. Also, these these bears and the little bear is also really good to make spirit sticks. Spirit sticks are a lot of fun. A lot of kids carry those, especially for pep squad. So, we'll take and make spirit sticks to kind of hand out to parents and things like that during the game. So. 
everybody has team spirit. 